Hello everybody, my name is this and welcome back to this weird striker thing. Uh, today we have decided to download a brand new league and kick Pep Guardiola into it, putting ourselves in charge of Manchester City. Ooh, what could that be about? But today it's a suggestion from Blobfish King again. Uh, and actually also kind of something I wanted to do for a while after watching a Zealand video of this guy and thinking I should try this guy out. But today we have got a guy in who, let me just read you some stats real quick, has scored 80 goals for Wellington Eels, has also got four goals in six games for blank, as well as being 11 goals in 15 appearances for the Solomon Islands. Uh, yes, that is right. We are testing out the Solomon Island striker, Raphael Lee, who has an apostrophe in his name. That's the one thing I know. In real life, seems like a fairly good striker on this game. Seems like a fairly useless striker. And <laughs> is fast. He's very fast. Uh, but apparently he's a winger. I, uh, I guess the only reason he scores a lot for Henderson Eels and the uh, Solomon Islands is because he's fast. And there's no other good teams around. Just because, looking at Velets Mostar, who are in the Bosnian League, which isn't in the game to begin with. You have to actually download a league to see this. Um, has only scored one goal in 10 games. Mainly because, and this is probably a warning for everyone, if you try and sign this guy, you have to, if especially in the Premier League, you have to give him a work permit. So if you already have people on work permits, you won't be able to sign him. It's probably the case of some other leagues as well. But just be cautious of that, I guess. But we had signed him for free. Hey! I except it's a 5.25... Um, you know, 5.25k signing fee for the, you know, for I guess the agent. But initially, free. But man, so we're going to run him as the advance forward in the team alongside Erling Haaland just to see how he does. I genuinely have no idea, but we do have a table which looks like this. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, pretty good. But. Can Raphael Lee beat Erling Haaland? Pfft, I don't know. With nine finishing, I highly doubt it. Prediction? Ooh. Nine goals. I'm just going to go out there. Not even think about it. Nine goals. Mainly because he can't score more than that in a proper European league. He's actually barely scored more than one goal in a proper European league. Mainly probably because of his work permit problems that he might have for people. So, can Raphael Liai, with an apostrophe, beat Erling Haaland? Let's simulate the entire season. Uh, for me, will take a few hours. For you, I don't know. Watch this guy on YouTube, I guess? Bye for now. And we are back. We're back at the end of the season. Definitely not the third time I had to do this because I forgot to put everyone in place. But, you know, whatever. But... It's the end of the season. We finished second, uh, which is good. Liverpool won the league. Uh, but how well did Raphael Liai do? Well, I actually don't know. So let's go find out. Uh, so the career stats he has, 37 games, 13, won three goals, 10 assists, two play match. Wow. For someone who is free with a £5,000 fee, that's really good. That's insanely good for, for, for a free agent. 37 games, 13 goals, 10 assists, and 2 player of the matches. That's... Wow. That's not bad. Uh, but did he beat Erling Haaland? Well, if we go to the Man City and click the Premier League, guesses? Anyone? Anyone want to guess how many goals he scored? Well, if you said 45, you're wrong because he scored 46. <laughs> Erling Haaland scored 46, so... No, Raphael Liai could not outscore Erling Haaland. Although Raphael Liai uh, had got goals. He's probably going to be like fifth or sixth in the list. Oh, he's actually joint 13th. No, that's kind of disappointing. But with uh, 38 games, uh, 13 goals, 10 assists, 2 player matches. Where does that put him in the table? Well, it puts him here in the table, fairly high up for a guy for a free agent. I mean, I did 
not expect him to be that high up with a free agency that costs about five grand if you include signing fees and all that crap. But he is really decent. Uh, even though he's got 10 finishing, I don't know. I should probably put him above Mariki, right? Just on principle that he's a lot cheaper than Mariki and has a better higher rating and more assists. Man, that's actually not so bad. Does he have a higher rating? Yeah, he does. Okay, so that's our actual new fourth place. And actually fourth place, not what I said with Olivia Giroud, because there's definitely not a player or a magical player name with with apps, goals, assists, PA, ever, AVR, additional notes. But there we are. I'm an idiot, so who cares? But this is Raphael Liai. Yeah, with 38 games, 10 goals, or 13 goals, 10 assists even. Man, that's an insanely good season for a free agent. The best free agent yet, technically, I guess. But yeah, you still have to be cautious about the um, work permit stuff, and I'll be real careful around that. Has he made any more uh, national appearances? What, what national is he? I think so. I actually don't know. But sure. He's 16 and 7. I don't actually know if he played internationally, what, how, what his international caps were before then. I, I guess I'll have a look back and have a look, but it, maybe he has. But he has improved in some stats. Not so bad. He's worth 55,000 to 950,000, and he's wanted by a club. But can Rafael Lee outscore Erling Haaland? No. Can he be impressive as a free agent? Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. That's pretty damn impressive. But that's all we have time for for this video. Uh, if you've enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe with your comments of strikers going in the comment section. Please leave a comment. We'll get to them as quickly as possible. We'll get through them. Any position, we'll try them. Just not goalkeeper, because I don't know how I'd entirely do that one. But, yeah, any position, we'll get through them. But, yeah, if you want to watch more of this, there's a playlist in the top right-hand corner or in the, or in the end card thing, whatever, wherever it is. Um, yeah, enjoy that. I guess it'll end on this video, so you can watch this again. I don't know if that's how it works, but sure, why not? Uh, until next time, though, bye for now.